You know when all of students in university are all cool, beautiful, amazing, show-stopping, spectacular, never the same, totally unique, and then there is this potato out there walking. This is me. Too stressed to take care of myself. Too depressed to wear something other than hoodies. Too fucked up to wear makeup and put nails on. It's really sad. Today, we'll change that. Today, um, um... Just doing a challenge. I'll put raw nails. Are these even long? And yeah, I'll try to draw using them because I like to suffer. You know, I've never done my nails before because uh, I just don't feel like it. <laughs> but I really like watching people making them and customizing them. So today I'll just put acrylic nails or whatever and I'll try to draw using them. I'll promote my merch and Instagram today. If you don't visit them, I'm going to be... Don't let my channel die yet. Well, I'll draw from this reference this time. I really like the vibes of it. So yeah, stick around from the time lapse. I'll try to talk from time to time in the time lapse. You know, my hands feel weird already. Is this how beauty feels like? Looks so beautiful. Usually they look like mom says it's aliens' hands because they they just feel weird. The texture, everything. I'm so sorry for whoever is going to touch them and hold them in the future. If I ever had a partner, of course, because uh, that's impossible. <laughs> So fucking annoying, but I guess I just gotta get used to them. It's my first time, so it's okay. The drawing is not that bad to be honest and I really wanted to try this sketchy colorful palette for this drawing, I don't know. The reference really inspired me to try something random like this. What do you expect from me? I change my sight every freaking second.
really the weirdest way I ever drew in. I saw that coming. One of the nails, if not two, fell down, so I'm just gonna stick them again. By the way, do you like improving yourself? Do you want to learn something new? Lucky you, there is Skillshare, the sponsor of today's video. So Skillshare is an online learning community where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on topics including illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing, and more. Members get unlimited access to thousands of inspiring classes with hands-on projects and feedback from a community of millions. For example, there is this class of Nicholas Smith of activism about creating inspiring art for change. Alongside Nicholas, you'll learn how to practice speed painting to keep your work free and passionate, translate your reactions to the world around you into art, create meaningful art with clear, effective messaging, Connect with yourself through art. Whether you're a practiced artist who wants to express yourself differently through your art, an activist looking for a new form of protest, or a beginner looking to discover your own voice and style, Nicholas Captivating Lessons will inspire you far beyond the end of the class. And don't forget to share your art. Nicholas would love to see it. Skisher believes a strong community is essential to personal growth. Tap into supports of fellow creatives who provide encouragement, communication, and inspiration. And it's pretty affordable for less than $10 a month, which is crazy. And what's cooler is that you can get a free trial when clicking the link in the description if you are from the first 1,000 people to click on it. With Skillshare, you can find inspiration in the moment and learn how to express your creativity. Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video and supporting the channel. Now for the Photoshop part. I call it art surgery. And since you watched all the video and you made it to the end, I'm going to give you art tips. Since I'm drawing this creepy art style, I want some like dark vibes, horror thing, you know. First, I'll go with Liquify. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'll fix her back since it looks worse than mine and every digital artist out there. Then what I do, I choose a soft brush, I make it a big size, and I make a vintage on a new layer. I hide that layer, I click control on the thumbnail of the layer after it's selected I blur it not only I blur it but I also make it darker using curves or any other adjustments of course only on the vintage side and finally I add some grain for the whole drawing for like uh, some spooky art style I don't know <laughs> and you're done if you want to add like those glitches but don't overdo it because thank you for watching I hope this was fun uh, I'm sure it's not let me know in the comments comments if you have tried this little challenge before i love you all stay safe stay positive and bye